Vamos a empezar el episodio en español. Hola, sí. ¿cómo estás, mis amigos? No pasa nada. Bienvenidos a eh, Lone Lobos. We're rolling. Sí, All por right. supuesto. Un, un rolling. Un rolling. <risa> hey. One rolling. Estamos grabando. Rolito e sholito. <risa> Bienvenidos, uh, mis amigos. We're really close. ¿Cómo se dice rolling? Rolito. No. Yo soy Bienvenidos a eh, Lon Lobos. Sí. Me amo. Esta semana es el episodio de Jacobo Scott Bertrand, Scott Tomás Bertrando. Bienvenidos. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. ¿Crees que podemos Chale. empezar este episodio en español? Uh, uh. Jacobo. <risa> empezar, ¿es that the right word? Sí. Empezar. 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 ¿Sí o no? Uh, no. No. Oh. ¿Pero por qué? ¿Por qué? <sighs> Dude, my mind just goes French. It's so hard. ¿Por qué? No pasa nada. <laughs> <laughs> Tengo muchísimas cosas que necesitan... Que... 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 Que what? That we need to talk about? A pastor. No. Sí, a pastor. <laughs> a pastor. La experiencia en, en Xochimilco. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí se puede. Todas las cosas que, que com, comían. Que comimos. Que comimos. Comimos. Que comimos. Que comimos. That we ate. All the, all the things that we ate. In, in comimos. That we, yeah. That is, we comimos is that we ate. Oh, comimos. Sí. So, cualquier cosa quiere, Jacob, quieres hablar primero. Sure, we'll go with it. ¿De qué quieres hablar primero de tu viaje? Sí. Oh, yeah. What, what part of the vacation do you want to talk about first, bro? Mm. Porque... En, ¿Cómo te fue? En... Formulito 1. Ok. Formula 1. Formula 1. Formula 1. Ok. Formula okay, uno. ok, ok. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo te fue...? Tu, ex, tu experiencia en, en Formula One, bro. How did it go? No pasa nada. ¿Cómo te sientes? How did it feel? How, how, did, you, how, did, how did you feel? Fuego. Fuego is fire? Fuego. Bro. Muy fuego. Ok. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bro. <laughs> Dude, you, you just gotta get over the embarrassment. It's just like, whatever, we don't know the next word. It's okay. No, I don't know the next word. It's then that's where you say, my... ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice, Monica? Um, <laughs> I would say, ¿Cómo se dice uh, this sentence? Yeah, bro, <laughs> you can do it. Okay, okay. And then we can cut it. No, it's, it's, it's interesting because my brain really goes, oh, I need to say something. And like searching for a word in another language, my brain keeps shitting out things in French. It's That's so okay. wild. I, I have a feeling sometimes, you know, the word might not be that far off. Maybe mm. we'll get an understanding of… Of what you're trying to say, even if it is a little bit French Mexicano or whatever. But ¿Cómo ¿Cómo se dice, uh, multiple baddies on my line. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 Muchísimas hermosas que están. <laughs> Muchísimas <laughs> hainas. <laughs> Muchísimas hainas. I don't think you can say that. How know. do you say on? Encima. Encima. That's literally on top of that's that'd be like, yo. Mi comida está encima de este mesa. Or whatever the fuck this thing is. Box. Muy, uh, muy jainas encima de tu pinche. Your Spanish was flourishing in Mexico, I will say. Just being around, you were practicing a bunch. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so much fun. It was great. There also were a lot of people out in Mexico that spoke English as well. So mm -hmm. you weren't totally sinking or swimming. I think yeah. you… You fared well. You were a social butterfly out in Mexico, bro. What do you think? What do you think of all the? Yeah, I mean that. Shh, I don't know. <laughs> this was this wasn't your first time doing F one. Uh uh. But the second, the second, the second. Okay, so what do you think? It was more fun in in Mexico. Why? I don't know. It was just the not that the people were nicer, 
but it just felt way more like a community. Oh, okay. That's that. That was the biggest difference. A lot um, of reggaeton as well. Yeah, there was so there were so. I think that's why there were so many musical artists there, yeah. and it was like all their own people, and they all um, were super tight knit and super close to each other, but they weren't very um, like exclusive. exclusive at all. Yeah. yeah, everyone was super chill, super super nice. Um, made some friends. Yeah, made some friends. It was cool. I like, got to learn a lot of like um, slang terms too. My, a lot of Mexican slang as well. Yeah, yeah. I learned. Uh, I guess uh, eres muy fresa. Oh, okay. What does like, that mean, bro? Well, I, fresa is strawberry, but I guess okay. when you say like eres muy fresa, she means like you're freaking bougie, like you're fancy. Kind of like okay. you're like a. But it's specifically a Mexican. Mexican. Who yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I guess if you're oh, like a this? valley girl Mexican, it's like, yes, it's like a valley girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If and I guess if you're in Panama, they said I forget where they said somewhere else, and you say fresa, they'd be like, what the yeah, eres muy so fresa. Like, what are you talking about? Crazy. So you say jeje. Ah, oh, okay. Eres muy jeje. Okay. I forget exactly, but I think it, they said right. Panama. What about way? You learn way? Way? Yeah. That's like dude, right? Yeah, it's, it's bro. It's everywhere. It means everything. Dude, I like that. So Jesus is Yah. So they say Jesus, dude. Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's actually, yo, that's funny that you, that you said that. No, no, no. That, the way that he was saying it in that video. Por favor. <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh por favor. No, Yah in that sense means like, stop. Yeah, like, ya basta. Like, end it. Oh, yeah, end. Yahweh, I thought he was saying, Jesus, yes, please. No, no, no. Jesus, please. I, right? Is that, oh. is that right? Yeah, yes. In, Yahweh. Yahweh, yo, por favor. He's calling out to God. Yeah. <laughs> Yahweh. Dude, he I, just, Dude, I thought he was on that log like, please, please, No, God. that's oh. funny. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's always but, how I saw the video. No. Um, so yeah, what did you think por favor way was? <laughs> <laughs> if you thought Yahweh was Jesus, por favor way was his brother? No, no, no. I thought <laughs> Yah was Jesus and way was dude. So he was like, Jesus, dude, oh, please, okay, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yo, let's get into these motherfucking tacos. What Have you had tacos you? de camarón before? Tacos, tacos de, camarón. de no. camarón. What is camarón, bro? Camarón is shrimp. Shrimp. Fried deliciousness. Is camarón fried shrimp? Or I, no, I'm just saying shrimp. shrimp. Okay, yeah, just shrimp. It how could say, be. How, how do you say fried? Frito. Frito. Frito? You know that, bro. Oh, Pollo dude, frito. Fritos are just… You know that. Pollo frito. You know Pollo that. Frito. Oh, Nicaragua say Honduras. Uh, wait, so just fritos? Fritos? The chips? I'm sure it is a play on words. I'm sure it is like… Like… Fritos, chito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we got some… Uh, tacos de camarón. Are we doxing? Or no, we're not doxing. They're just compliments of Monica's this family's restaurant. This is Monica's restaurant. parents' restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to be like Keith Lee right now? <laughs> we're, about to, we're about to give you the raw… 100%. This is, this is how it is. I'm going in. I need the plate so it's underneath. Spill every meat. time, bro. Really, it's that good? Okay. Yeah. This is again. the first time I've had these kind of tacos. What's, what's in? What's in here? Yeah, break it down, chef. Oh, I'm not gonna say what's in it. Oh, oh of course you're not gonna. What do you think, Jacob? Of course not, brother. Krabby Patty kick a formula's busting. Well, yeah. What flavors are you tasting? ¿Cuál sabores? ¿Cuál sabores? Eh, ¿Crema y sí? Oh, no. Uh, ¿Queso? Hay crema adentro de su... ¿Adentro? That's what you say. Adentro, in, inside, yeah. Adentro. What have I heard of that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Arriba, abajo, adentro. That's funny. But they're saying... Adentro. Crema, uh, adentro. No. No. No hay crema. Oh. So creepy. Que magnifique. <laughs> que magnifique. No, that's, yeah. Is that, wait. No, that's French. Magnifique? Right? Yeah, I was like, yeah. is that Spanish? No. Um, magnifique. Exquisite. Yeah. Exquisite. Que rico. Mm. Yummy. Jordan's trying out the chile and I'm a little nervous. Oh, really? Right? This is not mild flavor hot sauce? Um. Ooh. This sauce is a little spicy. Hot. Mm. <laughs> it's like a 7 out of 10 in the oh. hotness. 
Oh, I Hannes. Hannes. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. I thought he was just rating it right there. I was no, like, no, 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 Keith, Keith, no. <laughs> my business. My small, small, my small, my local business. No. First of all, I want you to treat me like you treat everyone else. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't want no special treatment. <laughs> I just wanted to place an order for my family. Okay. Me okay. poquito, poquito, poquito oh, business. <laughs> I is say this, business. Is this like a um no, I don't know. I don't know. Store. Last question. Edificio. Tienda. Tienda. Mande. How do you say my? Me. Bon. Oh, me. It is me. Me. Me poquito, poquito, poquito tiendas. But I think you say. Remember, it's reverse in Spanish. You say the object and then the adjective. Mi tienda oh, pequeña. Mi tienda. Mi tienda pequeña. Pequeña. Yeah, yeah. Mi pequeña. No, that's, poquito, that's poquito. that'd be like English. My small store, you would say. Mi store. tiendas. Si. Mi, mi, yo, yo tengo. Yo tengo. Yeah. My business. No, that's I have. I you have said mi tienda, or You said tu tienes, which is you have. Yo tengo. Wait, so what is business? Negocio. Oh, negocio is business. Store is tienda. Tienda. Building. Okay. Mi what are you trying to say, he man? Say it in English. Well, no, he just said my small, 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 small business. Oh. I'll try saying it in Spanish. Mi well, tienes. Pecate, 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 you're on your pecate. way, bro. I'm learning, yeah. I, I have a good feeling, bro. You just spend a month out there in an area where you actually, like where we were, Roma Norte. I have to speak Spanish. Where in Roma Norte, you can get away with not with being Spanglish. So many people out there speak English, but you need to, you need to get your ass over to a place that they speak mainly Spanish. It'll be helpful for you. But you killed it out there, bro. So Chimilco was fantastic. Wow. The food out there was fantastic. You got to some you got to do some eating. You did some how was your, you know, I you know, when I did my month out in Mexico, there were a couple of weekends where I was where I went out clubbing, right? And I was oh, trying yeah. to, you know, flirt in Spanish, right? And granted, you know, this was years ago. This was the old me. I would never do that now. I'm a gentleman. But, but it's difficult trying to, like, it's one thing being funny in your native language. But mm -hmm. being funny in a different language is hard. And, it, like, even certain cultures have different types of comedy. Have, like, I going down to Mexico, they have, like, you know, these types of, yeah, you, you get it. Yeah, it's just different. How how is it? Were, were there anything like? Obviously, there's times where I just remember even being out with you, uh, like talking, where you would use idioms, you know, that sometimes oh, fly fly yeah. over people's head because people are like, "What the fuck?" Does even people that like would speak had really good English, but maybe I would just use. Ah, I'm trying to think of one that. Oh, I said one tenyaki. Oh, I said different strokes, different folks. Yeah, <laughs> and I said, "Oh, I was like, yeah, different strokes, different folks." And he just looked at me. My favorite thing to do when people were. Like talking to me in Spanish, uh, I would be talking to someone. They'd say something in Spanish, and they could tell that I didn't really understand what they said. Okay, I'd be like, "Oh, oh, oh. and this si, is like, see, 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 like, si. "Tú hablas español?" I'd be like, "No pasa nada." Oh. That was that was like my favorite interaction that I got to have with people. It would either get like a huh or like a whoa, <laughs> like you're weird. People thought they were in one of those like skit prank things where you have an earpiece in where you're only saying things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, what? What do you mean everything's um, okay? What are you saying? Nothing yeah, it was fun though. One, one really good uh, crush that I had though was having you and Nate out there. Um, yep. He's been on the podcast before actually. Long time ago. Spanish with Nate. Uh, he, My friend Nate lives out in, uh, in Mexico City. And uh, so we got to hang out with him. It was nice having you and him basically. I, I would be talking to someone. You guys would be like, oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, so he said that. Uh, <laughs> that was that was definitely very fun. Yeah, it was it was a fun time, bro. I'm so glad that we were able to do something different. Yeah, especially for the podcast. Shout out, you know, we just got to give another shout out, you know, to the team out there that helped us do the episode over there. Yeah, that was sick. We got it was a great learning experience. I can't wait to do more of those, more more travel epis. Speaking of which, travel epis, we might be doing one soon, bro. Bang. You coming to visit me? You coming to visit me? Hey, I'll um, go visit you. That'd be fun. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm I'm heading out uh, to do some work. Um, I had a question for you, bro. A a a a pedagogy of acting question. Pedagogy, it, like the process oh, of okay, okay. Um, being an actor. Yeah. So I don't know if you've ever had to, but I've never had to do a period piece before, mm -hmm. or be in a time different from really, your own. Yeah, yeah, different than your own. 
How would you, if you had a character that, let's say, psh, I don't know, grew up in the 50s, right? How would you go about, like, constructing what the backstory of that character looks like? Like, what it, things are important to you to, to find who the character is? Like, some people, for example, I, I say this because, like, I'm making a playlist mm-hmm. of music from the 50s that I think this person would, blah, 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 blah. What do you, what do you think the things that had you, you know, when you're, when you're put in this position, when you're going to have to, you know, do it, what are you, you going to do? What's going to be important? The first knee-jerk thing that came to mind was just reading autobiographies from people Ooh. from that time. Okay, okay. Just to get a feel for what life was like. Life was like and just the, the type of dialogue that they would have. Okay. That's the biggest thing. I think that would be scary for me is just, <laughs> well, no, just, just yeah. like sounding like I'm from that time. Got you. Just the way I speak and like the cadence in which I speak. Yeah. Not even like the accent, but like the cadence in which you talk. Um, just, just for if you were to then act outside of the dialogue or improv anything, you can still be consistent. Yeah, you can still be super consistent because, yeah, I don't know. I think like my, I, mean, I haven't done a ton, but like my favorite moments that like I've had on screen are things that like I've gotten to improv. Improv, yeah. Um, yeah, so def- yeah, I'd say that's the first thing I would do. Okay. Just probably try to read stuff. Yeah. Um, you went music though. That's that's a good idea, dude. I'm I'm going everywhere, man. I'm I am reading. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a lot of reading about people from that time. I am like what I found helpful is I find the line in the script that best resembles who the character is. The mm-hmm. most honest line from the character. And oh, him. This but person saying it. it. In the script, yeah. Okay, I look at the yeah. script and think, my character, what is the most honest line that this They've character said. delivers? And then I see like, why is that the most honest point? Mm. And then that kind of helps me, that helps me decide like who, what this person's values are, what he, what he or she um, uh, like would be into. But it is new uncharted territory for me. Yeah. Like I could do anything. anything. Yeah. And and for those reasons, it is it does get a little bit overwhelming to be like, oof, because it is made up. Like, there are things that I want to be true, mm-hmm. right? There are facts that I want to be able to hold on to, root the whilst, character, and you know, building everything else. So it's just been stuff that's interesting, but it's been fun, you know, having the opportunity to see what's in the script, what is fact in the script, and then build on top of that. Um, Sholo. Oh, what? You recently spoke at a high school. That's your cousin's. Oh, yeah, that's right, bro. <laughs> so, uh, so this me. goes in tandem. This isn't the thing that I FaceTimed you for. Oh, are you serious? No, this. No, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. So I went out to Vegas just for a quick day trip. Left in the morning, came back at night. Spoke at two high schools and then did this charity thing, right? Two high schools? Yeah, bro. What did they have you say? Well, no, no. Actually, sorry. I take it back. The first high school wasn't a high school. It was a middle school. And my little one of my little cousins, his friend, doesn't believe that we're cousins, right? Oh, so you went there so, to be yeah, like… So they took him out. They took him into the principal's office. And I was like, what's up, bro? And he was like, why? Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, what the heck? And we signed… We did some like… Pops and stuff like that. And he was like, what the heck? He was flipping out. So that's what we did with Mariano. Oh, with my little cousin. So <laughs> I love how Mariano was playing in the corner like, yeah. Yeah, he, he played it super cool. guy. He was, <laughs> he, he was just like, just whatever. Then they went back to class. I was like, scurry. Run along. <laughs> yeah. um, but then I went to, you know, my other cousin's school. Her high school. And she goes to a performing arts high school, right? Mm-hmm. And they had a surprise guest, right? And high schoolers, as they naturally do, they were speculating who the guest was. Mm -hmm. And because the orchestra that week was going to be performing for like the White House Orchestra, Mm -hmm. they thought it was Joe Biden. (laughs) (laughs) They thought they thought Jay (laughs) Beasy. They thought Jay Beasy was the guest, right? (laughs) So 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 my cousin walks. It's they have a oh my god an immaculate fucking theater. Oh auditorium, so crazy. Oh my cousin walks out on the on the stage and everyone's like, oh, you know, one of us, one of us. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's, you know, my kind, you know, it's, you know, my, I'd like to welcome. And then she welcomes me. And as soon as I welcome, everyone's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> were, bro, there must've been like 400 people 
in the like that department. I still pretty and big. all of that. Yeah, and they were just like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "I'm sorry, I'm not changing. Joe Biden. How did you know that yeah. it was Joe? Like, told no, you? Yes, yeah, yeah. My cousin, my cousin was like, "They think he's it's Joe, Joe Biden." Biden. <laughs> they think, you know, sorry about and, Joe Biden. I'm a little darker than him, but, but I'm also then, younger than him. <laughs> but then, but then they figured. Then they found out the stuff that I'm from. And they're like, "Oh, right, cool. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Actually, he's probably gonna." Be a better speaker. Yeah, yeah. So, like, <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, you're the guy who broke his back and you the, are Blue yeah, Beetle. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So oh, wait, I can't say that. It was, okay. it was. You're the guy who was cool backpack. Yeah, so I disappointed a bunch of kids, which I don't know why they were, I didn't realize, they, like they, Joe Biden was like Drake. He really? Was, I would have thought like he was, that, that's got to be a great deal too because Joe Biden's what? Spitting out Max a hundred words during his time. At the, oh, yeah. They got a good deal having Shola Maidueña there. I spent <laughs> at least 3,000 words during my during my Is it paid hour gig? segment. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's probably why Joe Biden didn't do it, actually. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> He's, his rate. How much, how much for a Joe Biden feature? Joe Biden feature? Oh, I don't my, know. I feel like it depends, on the, it depends on the topic. Like, I, I feel like is it's he probably a, is he an interlude know, or is he rapping? I think he's rapping, and I think okay. it's probably ten grand if you just oh, let him do whatever whatever topic he wants, uh, and then it's fifty grand if you want him to do a specific topic. <laughs> you're just gonna go on that topic and you're like, yeah, I was with your girl. There's a turtle flying over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He would not be like that. He would. Be, he would no, he would not. He definitely has. I have a. He would just fall. He'd be like, yeah, so I was. <laughs> get him for the music video. I would love that <laughs> to get him and I riding in the converti. Maybe he'll do the on you my guys way playing remix. magic. He's yeah. like casting like blue spells with red mana. It's like <laughs> I'm on my way. Yeah, that's a pretty good. Yeah, I'm on uh, his way. Yeah, yeah. I'm on his way. It's me and him. We're flying Air Force One. <laughs> Yay! We're on our way. <laughs> Your Joe, Joe Biden voice is picking good. up that dun dun dun. <laughs> Anyways, that's my JBZ impression. Um, uh, thank you. The kids were the kids. By the way, asked being that they were theater kids, asked the best questions I've ever heard. Really, any kids ask like great what? questions. Brandon, who y'all met last episode, yeah. was also part of the talk, and they were like, "How do I make sure I'm getting a good manager? What do I do? How do like what qualities? What is a good wow like, questions like that?" That I was like, "You go, kids." They were they were ready, the hungry, and it just reminds me, bro. Like, it makes me think of like, like. Maybe there's some sort of like schooling or I don't know. These little kids, these Juilliard high school Cal uh -huh. Arts kids are so hungry. And I'm just like, ooh, oof, I need some, I have some work to do. But that was good. I FaceTimed Jacob, Jacob while I was out in Vegas because I was, I was also fulfilling this charity event uh, that we talked about a few episodes back. <laughs> you got bought. I got bought. Yeah. Night with Sholo was bought. Um, and it was me. <clears throat> Three eighth graders and three ninth graders. And we were bowling. We went bowling. I will say, by the way, the only thing that was, wasn't was unsupervised was the ass whooping and bowling that I handed these girls. I <laughs> must have… I dropped 150 on them. It was only one of them that broke 100. Oh my and, god. And, and the moms were like, wow, you really… They were like, what? You, you, you really, really like, like bowling. You really <laughs> bowled well. You bowled a good game for this charity event. I was out there like… Who you think you are? I am. <laughs> and you're like curling your foot back, spinning it. It's like, well, dude, halfway through the game, the girl, like, they, the girl saw the way that I was bowling, and they were like, "Wait, you bowl with your middle two fingers, not your pointer two fingers?" Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." And after that moment, they were hitting good. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, bro. They were. They were was, like, "Huh?" It was, it was a fantastic. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were. It was a good time, and. I don't know. It's one of those things where I was honestly, I felt a bit nervous hanging out with like three people younger than my sister. But are just they gonna like, think I'm cool? Yeah, I was like, are they gonna think I'm cool? Am I gonna be up on the TikTok memes? <laughs> we did a couple of TikToks. I'm waiting for them to be. Are you posted. serious? Yeah, I don't know. Oh I, my! Like I, dances or what? We did. Yeah, we did do a dance. We did that. Bring me water. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, I, no, no. <laughs> I just heard about this. Yeah. Dude, Spencer, uh, Spencer was telling me about this and 
Oh my god. That's so, dude. You should do that. That would be so funny, especially <laughs> the next promo for the for the podcast. I think you should because you, dude, you really can move your butt like weird like that. Yeah. So, no, yeah, we did a couple TikToks. We did do that one though. That's like where you, it's like boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom. that one's funny. Yeah, yeah. So we did that one. It was yeah. There, they were. They what were, did you do for the boom? I was like boom, 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 boom. Oh, like the elf thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It was it was a good time, bro. They were it was it was like Jessica, Melissa, Resica. They were <laughs> like they were Brittany, Jana. Angela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to y'all. Um, one of them though did Lauren. I do remember you. Shout out Lauren. I don't know if she <laughs> listens to the pod, but she was like so. She very clearly was the biggest fan of Cobra Kai. Okay, and and she was like, so do you think it'd be possible if in the new season, like in one of the scenes, you could just go bowling and then like we'll know that <laughs> like just shut up bro. <laughs> they're like you know then we'll know like yeah, you're thinking you about did us. that for us yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm I was bowling? like I could do that but I have a feeling they'll cut it out like yeah. I have a feeling if I did that in the scene they'd be like that didn't belong there yeah. let's just snip that out but they were like no but still do it Dude. I were like Johnny you really need to help me train for the bowling set guy tech guy <laughs> like, they, that's what they were asking that's what Lauren wanted I thought that's, that where people were like just say my name no no that's the thing I was <laughs> yeah, like Lauren yeah. Don't you want me to just say your name? But like, maybe when I'm referring to one of our friends off screen, I could be like, yo, Lauren, did you see Lauren's party? Yeah, you know, Lauren. She was like, no, just bowling. So it's for all of us. <laughs> I was like, all right, word. Lauren was looking out for the team. She was, she was ready, but. Shout um, out, Lauren. Yeah, shout out, shout out, Lauren. But regardless, it honestly was a blast. I got to practice my bowling. I got to get up on the latest TikTok trends. A couple of them were equestrians and they were like, yo, fuck Lulu. She is always talking shit about us. She practices over at the other farm and, you know, we got beef. And I was like, yo, tell her that you're with the kid from Cobra Kai right now. Send her a pic. Yo. No, but it was good. It was cool. It was well worth it. I got, it was delicious being out in Las Vegas. I, I, I didn't know it was there. a, I didn't know it was a bowling alley because from my perspective, I'm just, I'm in the shop with my brother. Yeah. Just ripping through Bunch of wood. Ripping bong rips. And I just, you know, get the phone ring. And, oh no, Blake answers it. Yeah, Blake answered it. Yeah, Blake answered my phone. And, because I was they cutting like, something. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the kid for, you don't know Hawk. Dang it. You're like, no, I do know him. It's like some kid who like kind of looks like me. Uh, Blake hands me the phone. And I genuinely thought you were in like a club. Or like yeah, a strip club they're... or something. All the lights are going, whatever. And so I, my first thought was like, oh, Shell's in a strip club. Like, You did say, on? are you in a club? I was like, no. Yeah. And then what? you pan and it's just like a bunch of 13-year-old girls. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were so nervous. Jacob was definitely the more that they were like, we'll settle for a charity dinner with Sholo. But, you know, I, I could get the vibe. I was like, I should FaceTime Jacob. It's going to be, oh, it's really? gonna be, yeah, it's going to be a good turnout. <laughs> and sure enough, like after they were like, <laughs> oh my God, Jacob. You know, it's just that bad. You just have that bad boy. Ew, that's so you funny. Got, you just got that dog in you. <clears throat> you reflex the dog and, and the dog the reflex dog. you. <laughs> <laughs> that poor kid, bro. He's pretty affluent. He's not. He's, <laughs> he's well off. He's a well off kid, bro. Um, but I feel bad for that kid, bro. Let's wrap it up. We yeah, have yeah. we have one thing to wrap it up with, and it's a Monica segment. Oh, Monica, si se puede. We have a clip from a trip that we had last week with Jay Balvin, Ooh. where where we were doing we were doing some work with Jay Balvin, and he and he made a video for our pod. And, you know, I like J Balvin or Jose, you know, <laughs> as I call him now, you know, J Beezy, <laughs> the other J Beezy. Um, Woke up, J Breezy. And Monica is the biggest J Balvin fan. So we, of course, we had to bring her out and they did their intro. I'll play it for you, Jacob, and the rest of the crew. I butchered the intro, but. No, you did, did great. Intro. Monica was fantastic. I did an intro, but it's. it's- Let's us let us you hear it? Let us listen. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Bienvenidos a este episodio de Lone Lobos con Solo Maridoña and Jacob Bertrand. And today we have a very, very special guest. Jabob and man, Jose. Ah! <laughs> 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 so wow. shout outs to Jose. Thank you so much, Jay Balvin, for doing it. He's 
gonna come back on for an episode. Sweet. So we're excited. But Monica, give us the breakdown. What are you thinking? You know, we're, we're doing this thing for some music stuff. Like we're doing some stuff on the music side. I said, Monica, come along, please. You got to meet J Balvin. Yeah, what are you your thinking? Hero. You get there first. You get there before we arrive. Give us the rundown. Is your heart beating? What's happening? What are you thinking? I we rolled up on y'all. So I re- I got there three hours early. I got there, yeah, stupidly early. <laughs> And I kind of just stood outside like a creep of the studio. <laughs> and people were just staring at me like, who the hell is this random girl? Brandon was just like, oh, they're here. They're here. And I was just like. <laughs> and, then, and then you finally got the intro. Yeah. And then I was like. <laughs> and then Monica <laughs> literally <laughs> stuttered. Like a cartoon stutter. Really? It was I, crazy. I was stuttering it was- over my words. I was just so nervous because the whole crew just was looking at me and I was like, can y'all look away? <laughs> what, did, so, what, did, I mean, what did you, what did you with, say? Well, I was so, there was a lull, right? Because we get there and we're, I mean, we're there filming the show and they got set up and they got a set up and we were in between setups. So, you know, up until that point, he was on the phone. So he gets off the phone and he's just kind of chilling there. And I go, you know, yo, Jose, there's someone I want to introduce you to. This is Monica. We have this podcast. This is one of our producers. And she's the biggest fan. And Monica was like, she was so respectful. She spoke in Spanish. She was like, I had to. I had to speak in his mother tongue. <laughs> and she was just like, I, she, she went on a list of things that she loved. She was like, you know, music. Oh, yeah. I, love, was like, I was like, I love your music. I love your country. I, love your country. I went to your country. Like, I love <laughs> Medellin. I love, I love your collab that you did with guests. I, I love your house. Like, she was just like going down the I was list. Like, I love, like, I love, you know. And he was super cool. He was a pleasure. A I can't wait to have oh, yeah. him on. We got the photo. We got the video of yeah, him signing the thing. And you asked for a photo? Or, uh, no, I, I didn't have the balls to yeah. ask for a photo. It was Sholo who was just like, I know Monica I would never ask this, but could you? And then I was just like, No, ah. did you say, Sholo said, Do you want to take a photo with Monica? Instead of like, Monica, do you want to take a photo with? Yeah, Dave you Bobby? should. Like, hey, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if hey, you know Jose, this. Here. You should. You, That's what we should have done. Oh my God, Monica, the Miles here? Monica. <laughs> oh my God. That would have been actually been so sick if you gave like the crew a hundred bucks each to be like, Go up you, to this girl and be like, I don't have that you money I'm a low level fan. Like, can I get a picture? That would be kind of fun. No, no, yeah. yeah. It was it was a blast. Um, and yeah, there was shout out to him. Shout out, yes, yeah, shout out to Jose Balvin. Yeah. It was it was a pleasure. Um, we can't wait to have him on the pod. That leads us into our last segment. You know what we do every week. And we gotta double it up because we forgot to do it in Mexico, bro. Give us two songs, two songs. <gasps> We did forget. Yeah. So so you got to give us… What what are we doing? What are the two songs of the week? Bruh. Rapid fire. Quick. Quick. Rapid quick. fire. Um, yeah, it's rapid fire. I got to look. All right, how you about y'all first? Gotta, you gotta, I got to look. What do you uh, got? What do you got? Tamayo. <laughs> ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál canciones? Kai Kai Ki Ten. What? What? Kai Kai Ki Ten. And okay. added up by the Violent Femmes. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. You care to give us a little… Add it, um, add it up. Add it up. Count it. Add oh, it up. No, no, no. Is that uh, Violent Femmes? No. Why well, can't I get thinking. just one kiss? Why can't I get okay. just one kiss? Oh, yeah, Maybe yeah. It's not, yeah. All right. Boom. Uh, but boom, I look boom. at your pants and I need a kiss. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, Kai Kai Kiten is the season one OP of Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay. But it's in Japanese. And because I don't know the words 100%, I feel like I would get in trouble if I tried to sing it. Better safe than sorry. We love that new Jacob. All right. Cause I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Okay, my my two is another uh, back to the Pacific pop crossing rain new song called Welcome to the Show. Okay. It goes Welcome to the Show, and then a bunch of little K-pop sounds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the other one is um, Mi Gente by J Balvin. Oh, love it! I love okay. that beat. All right, uh, my first one is going to be Amarillo by J Balvin. Yeah. Um, and the second one is going to be um, for all the directioners out there, you and I by One Direction. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love it. All right. All right. Here's going to be my two. I'm going to go Us Against the World by Strans. Strans. UK rapper. Um, mm, I and like then I'm going to go, um, let's go with that Amoeba, Claro. That's Jack. Hey. Right, right. <laughs> um, Thank you so much, guys, for listening to this episode of the podcast. Uh, adios, mi amigos. Adios. Ciao bacalao. Ciao bacalao. But wait, wait, the episode isn't over yet. Congratulations to the WGA and SAG-AFTRA for reaching a deal. In celebration, 
Jacob and Shola want to give some of their favorite shows and movies that they have been watching their well-deserved flowers as part of today's bonus content for this week's episode. Enjoy. Sizzy sauce it up. What's up, Jacob? What's up, bro? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you? I'm feeling all right. We are live and direct from both coasts of the motherfucking United States of America. Yeah, we have a U.S. Week. hat right behind me. Right, right? That's right. Jacob's yeah. re- repping the West Coast. I'm repping the East Coast. I'm in New York. Um, doing a movie. I can talk about it now. I'm doing a bit of an indie period piece. Yada, yada, Holla. yada. I don't want to talk too much about it. The first <laughs> is in a few days. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, aside from my movie, I had a list of things that I wanted to shout out now that the fucking strike is over. Oh. Do you have anything off the top of tizzy off of your head, Jacob? Um, I just started rewatching and showing some friends who have never seen this before, uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Okay, so that's shout out Lord of the back. Rings. Got to shout out Lord shout of the Rings, Peter Gollum. Jackson. Uh, sh- <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out, fucking shout out, fucking <laughs> Orlando is- Bloom. Fucking, yeah, Gollum out there in the streets getting that fucking <laughs> ring. He's shout on that out. fucking grind. Shout out fucking Schmeagol. My fucking Frodo his in the cut. Samwise Gamgee doing the most. Shout out Gamgee with his big ass hammer. <laughs> Wait, um, what? I don't know. Oh, you mean Gimli? I Gimli? Don't know. Sure. I've never um, seen it, bro. Oh, that's I right. I'm a, I'm a fake. Dude, when I was in uh, Scotland uh, every Jacob, morning. Bro. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Go oh, for sorry, it. sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I'll say this real quick. But. When I was in Scotland, I, I got to stay at the same hotel that um, Andy Circus and Elijah Wood were staying Whoa. at. Andy Circus plays Snoopy while they were Gollum. filming. No, no, no. I Just while we say, were doing the Comic Con, they'd be like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, like, we, they, we have to wear Gollum shoes and then go to our castle to sleep." No. Yeah, and uh, but every morning we'd be all be in the same car together going to the con, okay. and I always got sat in the back with them because I have. You, know, you guys are the um, shortest. We are the shortest. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, the coolest freaking guys ever. Yeah. You, I'm really excited to... for Andy Circus's Animal Farm movie. It's going to be really, really good. Imagine you love those uh, hot, what is it? Not Hot Fuzz. What's the, um, what's those movies that they do? That three peat that they do? Um, the, Dead, oh, Cornetto Dead. Trilogy? Yeah, yeah. Right? Isn't it with, oh no. The Edgar Wright? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's Aren't a Cornetto that? Trilogy. They're not on that. I just but they are British. Those, yeah, and Andy Circus like is British. All cool British guys. Yeah, which actually I thought Elijah Wood was British. It's not British. Oh, he's American. He's American, bro. Homie lives in seven two seven. Uh, no, I'm kidding. No. I don't know his address. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, he lives. Oh, oh, <laughs> just oh, you still got yeah. him? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is the area? All right, all right. Well, shout out Lord of the Rings. You're getting shout out Lord of the your... Rings. All right, all right. Um. Uh, what, what do you want to shout bro? out? What else? Uh, well, we we both have to shout out One Piece, of course. That oh, was, true. That's know, right. That's one of the newest projects that has come out. All the love um, to Inyaki. All the love to Inyaki and the. What's the name One for Piece undress? Fam. This was it. Um. Desvestir. 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 Dude, I've, um, I used that actually since that episode. Yeah, great episode. Love. I was okay. in the club and I walked up to this guy and was like, "Despacir." He was like, "What?" <laughs> Despacir. Okay, <laughs> sure. He's like, "What?" <laughs> um, let me see. This is what I have. Oh, theater camp. I can finally admit oh. now that the podcast can talk about things that I, I saw theater camp five times in theater. And your sister loved it, right? I saw it with her. Yeah, I saw it with her. Then I saw it with my span, my middle school Spanish teacher. I saw oh, reconnecting with, with old flames for sure. Reconnecting with old flames. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you watched it in the back row. <laughs> Jk, I love you. Jk, um, polite society. Did you you heard of that one? I haven't heard of it. What? It, who's in it? Who's it? What's it about? Um, it's about it's it's a polite society is about Rhea, um, and it's. It's like a mix of Amelie in that it's got a quirky girl at the center of the story, but it's mm-hmm. also like John Wick in that she has this crazy martial arts, you know, driven quest that she has to go on. It's really, oh. really good. And the and the young woman is like probably our age, if not younger. Really? Um, yeah, it's so it's good. It's really well shot. Are there um, martial artists? Do you know? Yeah. Um, no, I don't. For this, they must have because 
yeah, she was she was getting down. It was there were some really cool um polite cool society. Acting sequences in that. Twisted metal. <gasps> written that came by, out? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Dude, I fucking binged it. We gotta have both Beauty Stephanie McWhisker and Michael. Michael, yeah. what's Michael's last name? Michael I don't G. know. I, I literally only know him as Beardy McWhisker. Well, that's not helpful. Let me look it up really quick. Um, what is his last name? Michael. His name is. Oh, we have to shout out Michael Gortz. No, <laughs> <laughs> we have to shout out Twisted Metal project um, that came up on Peacock, written by a uh, Cobra Kai writer, Michael Jonathan Smith. There it is. I was close with Gortz. You were close with Michael Gortz. Um, <laughs> but oh my gosh, bro. I you haven't you haven't peeped it yet. I watched the first episode with my mother and then we just ended up binging the whole thing. Super, super good. Anthony Mackie and Stephanie Beatriz are so good in it. And it takes place like they flash back and forth. I love it. Um also one of my favorite Los Angeles actors is in it, Richard Cabral as well. Richard Cabral. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Yeah, but um, I... Top Boy, last season of Top Boy came out. You already know the fuck going on. Top Boy, that's that uh, Drake show. It's like the British. I mean, he's, he's an exec on it, but he's not one of the man oh. on the show. No, he's not one of the man He's no. not one of the fans. He's not delivering food on the corner. But Top Boy has been. Oh my gosh, so much good music from Top Boy. Uh-uh. Uh, um, and Talk to Me. That's the last one that I have. That was uh, the A24. Did you watch it? No horror movies. You didn't even watch it. I hate horror movies, bro. They give me nightmares. I can't do that. It Twin. did show up on a lot of like top 10 of all time horror movies, I will say. But what? I didn't know if it was a top 10 of all time. I was scared. There was definitely one scene where I was so shocked. Really? What was yeah, the scene? Yeah. I'm not going to watch it. You can just the scene, dude, a little boy gets possessed. And he slams his head on this like a, uh, uh, it's like a mantle. He he slams. Oh, like mantle. a fireplace mantle. Yeah, and he's like, tah, tah. you already know those scenes. Oh, <laughs> like, and his sister's like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> With an Australian <laughs> war tarp and arm. <laughs> oh no, no. Rowdy Starp. How are you doing? His heart. <laughs> <laughs> it was visually striking. I was very shocked. I um, love that. No, 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 no. It I'm was kidding, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. a crazy, a crazy, crazy scary movie. And definitely in the vein of like, I mean, I've seen what the Ari Aster A24 horror movies now. Oh, Hereditary. The Witch. That's an A24 um, the uh, Witch, horror with Anya. But. Anyways, uh, any hoozies. We just I just had to shout those out. Get it oh, off the my bear. chest. I gotta shout out the, the bear. bear. The bear is so good. Adams. Um, oh, I, see that. I saw Miss Marvel. How was or, that? No, I saw the Marvels, sorry. The Marvels. Um I thought Miss Marvel Imani I Iman I, Iman Vellani. Iman Vellani was the be- I thought she was fantastic. Oh, you she just you hated so much of my sister. Um, oh really? Yeah, so much of that like Oh, that's cute. Like yeah, teenage girl energy. Um and it was it was cool. And I'm just excited that we can start talking about stuff just when when it comes to top of mind. I just watched popped in last night here in the Hotizzi um Blue-eyed Samurai. I'm getting back into anime. Oh, is that the li- the not live? It's the anime it's, on Netflix? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's animated and drawn. Oh, no way. Um English original. I was like, oh. I was looking up on, I was like, it showed up English and I was like, blah, 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 blah. but English is, original. Is that the one that Darren's in? I don't know. I'm Darren not too Darren Barnett? Sh- yeah. yeah. Yes. He's Brenda Song. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kenneth Brana. George yeah. Takai. He's telling me about that. That Kenneth sounds, it's, it sounded sick. I, I got to check that out. But it's Dude. cool. You'd like it. If, uh, I don't down. know what, what, are you watching an anime right now? Dude, I was just, uh, I'm about to finish Samurai Shampoo. Okay. That's and, an older one, right? Yes, yeah, an older one. It's the same dude who made uh, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. Bebop. But yeah. instead of like space jazz, mm-hmm. it's samurai hip hop. I actually think you would freaking love it. It's really, really cool and really good. And if they ever made a live action, even though he's Japanese, you would be a dope ass. Oh, I thought you were going to say Donald Glover. Oh, no. No, you. 
Oh, okay. He's movie. brown? Oh, he's Japanese brown? He's Japanese. He's Japanese. He looks a little brown. But is it like how in My Hero, how everyone's Japanese? But, you know, All Might looks like fucking Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Uh no 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 everyone's everyone's everyone's, everyone's, everyone's right, Japanese cool. everyone's but wrong. and then dude JJK Jujutsu Kaisen has been freaking insane dude you That's really need here, to catch up it's so good I haven't I haven't peeped dude yeah freaking uh Jaren Jaren was just texting me about it it's crazy it's, crazy. it's so good yeah. yeah I have I haven't we're on season two yeah season two it's wild and then the manga it's crazy oh my. I love yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen is like my shonen. Uh, that's it's it's that's so, the weekly that you're keeping up with. Yeah, that's that's like the only manga I'm reading weekly right now. It's it's so great. Uh, yeah, I I don't know what um, possessed me to watch an anime the other day. Uh, yes, last night, but I was I was. I don't know. I've been trying to watch movies that are kind of in the archetype of the movie that I'm doing right now to get a sense Uh-oh. of like. So you watch Blue Eyed Samurai? No, I couldn't find anything. I was only on uh, Netflix, and I was like, "Oh, I can't find anything." So I was like, "Fine, fuck it, whatever." I just what about like Gangs late. in New York? Maybe I don't know if that's on Netflix. I got to check it out. I haven't seen that movie yet. You should. I mean, it's a great movie, bro. It's Leonardo DiCaprio and freaking Daniel Day Lewis. Oh, abandoned my child. <laughs> you abandoned my child. What did he say? It was like, "I don't. I love your milkshake." I watched that movie, There Will Be Blood, for with Tony in his cinema class for extra credit. Yeah. We watched it on like fold out chairs in their in like one of their rooms. And it was it seemed like the last movie that they watched much have been ratatouille because they were all so they were like, What the heck? <laughs> they were like, This is way different yeah, than Wally. They were like, uh, wait a second. Where's the <clears throat> Disney princess and her little familiar? Where is where uh, I'm waiting for that. Did you see the the new Inside Out that's that's gonna come out? Wait, With Inside anxiety. Out mm-hmm. Wait, what? With anxiety, there's there's new emotions now that our main character is in their Getting adolescence. Older. There, they have like anxiety is one of them. Like, what are the other ones? Is she over prescribed anxiety medicine? Like, what's happening right now too? No, I mean I don't know. I mean the first Inside Out. What do you think? The what first is, is this one out? just called Lexapro? No. This one's so called anxiety. This one's called Ozempic. This Inui. One, Inui, like, which is a dark purple character. Boredom, boredom disinterest, disinterest, embarrassment, envy. Mm-hmm. What the heck? They're all so negative. Yeah. But what the heck is Inui? What is that? Why are like, they all negative? Horny is horny. Horny. <laughs> horny olive. Why didn't they just say? Horny? Dude, that would be so funny if there was horny in there. Well, Who plays mouth. horny? No, that's no, big no, no, man. Nick Kroll. No, no, no! You gotta cast someone else. Who plays horny? In um, if there was Charlie who, Sheen, I think uh, Charlie Day would be a pretty funny horny. Charlie Day isn't he already in a? Oh no, he's in a Lego movie. He plays Luigi, and yeah. he's also in. Uh, what are you saying about Luigi then? Because that's his voice. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen that Smash Me? No. It's Super Smash, and you know, like when you pick a character. Are you about announcer. to explain? Uh, yeah, is yeah. This about great. To be, is this about to be funnier than the meme that you're explaining? <laughs> the audience is gonna <laughs> love it. Yeah, yeah. No, but whenever you click on a character, it'll say their name. Like it'll go Kirby. Yeah. You know Bowser or whatever. Yeah. And this guy's like, it sounds like you're not gonna find it off of that. It's very. Uh, but he's basically saying like, it sounds like the announcer and Luigi dated for like two, three years, and it was this insanely bright passionate flame that burned but it just burned a little too bright and slowly their jobs and everything just kind of <laughs> pulled them apart and they got busy with work and you know different friend groups and the relationship just ended up ending luigi moved away and all of a sudden the announcers walking through paris on a vacation and he spots luigi at a coffee shop and then turn and they make eye contact for the first time in five years and all the emotions and passion starts running back to both of them and all the announcer can mutter out is Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you click, if you click on Luigi, it Wait, literally sounds like what? Any Wait. of them? Literally any Smash game <laughs> on Super Smash Brothers? If you just click yeah, on Luigi, like... it really sounds like he's like Luigi. Long lost lovers. Yeah, he's just like can't believe he's seeing his long lost lover. It's it's a pretty good. 
I have you a feeling that it. it actually was funnier than the meme that you just said. That <laughs> that actually, actually, you need to go no further. Don't click away. <laughs> please don't click away. Don't video. go check, please. No, I swear I did it justice. This is all you need to find. Justice. I like that. Let's let's roll it, Jacob, bro. We are going to be figuring out these episodes remote. Oh yeah. In a bit of a different way. I must say though, I do even even with the today's, you know, findings, I do prefer this than Blue Beetle filming. Um, I suppose. At oh. least for the audience at home. I think it'll be better to have a video, even if it's even if it's like remote. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. I Andrew think you're yeah. in the studio, bro. You look official. You look mad official right now. Dude, I redid here, all I had the to make my bed. I felt like you. I just heard your dad. Even the army people do it. <laughs> that's all yeah. they fucking have. That's what my yeah, yeah my no dad shit does they say make that. their bed, bruh. Dude, I did all the decorations for this. Look at this behind me. Oh my god. Yeah, so Jacob, good. they're kind of blur yeah, they blurred you out. They blurred out the back, but Come it's okay because it looks got nice. The, got the Kyogre, got the Rayquaza, got the USA hat, got the sake. We got Actually, oh, Senki, right? From Dr. Stone. Show what you got. Yeah. What do I got? Let's see. I got, um, I got phone, I got <laughs> lights, I got water, I got books, I got sunglass case, I got underwear wallet, in your bed. Headphone. No, wallet, headphone, <laughs> uh, phone, remote. Damn, but you look buff and you're a little, you little beater. Dude, I'm, I'm. Starting, I mean, today is my first day out here. Uh huh. I'm gonna work out every day I'm out here. Wow. The days that I'm working, I'm trying to run every day. <laughs> what the fuck? For what? What do you need to run for? Because I'm going to Argentina and I'm gonna be backpacking for like two, three weeks. So I gotta be in like, oh, tippy, you gotta tippy get your shape. cardio. You gotta yeah. get your cardio up. So okay. I'm gonna go to I'm backpacking gonna go to, in Argentina. Yeah, I'm gonna hey. be super skinny for season six. Oh, okay, okay. Where, what, when are you going to be backpacking in Argentina, bro? The 6th through the 18th of December. Whoa, the 6th through the 18th of December. Yeah, so we're going to have Wait, to do so this setup gonna, on the mountain. Gonna, yeah, are we'll you going like, to record? Are you going to are you going to bring a good camera and are you going to have your phone at least? Uh, your phone is your phone doesn't have a good camera. What do you mean my phone camera is great? The lens is just a little cracked. But other than that, it's oh, good. Oh, man. You got the Fisher Price one, bro. You need the. <laughs> I got the ladybug they need, phone. They need to, yeah. <laughs> bro, take a good camera out there, bro. Are you taking? Did you? Are you getting? A I'm taking yours, what? bro. Are you getting a good? What do you mean you're taking mine? <laughs> <laughs> I have mine with me. No, your dad said I could take it. Oh, the Panasonic? No, I'm totally kidding. But bro. now, now that you were down, dude, you got to take a good camera out there. No, bro. I, I'm gonna get a good camera. Who are you going with? Who's the Argentina squad? Uh, my dad. Oh, it's you and your dad. Me and my dad. We're gonna go to. We're gonna hike Fitzroy. We're gonna do the W, the W Trail, the fabled W Trail in Argentina. It's like it's Argentina and Chile. I think it's both. Whoa! How many miles is that? We're doing ten plus miles a day, for a week and a half. For a week and a half. Whoa! How do you feel about that? That's a lot of time to spend with your father. I mean, we've been on like hiking trips before. Okay. I don't know. I, I've I've done like hiking in uh, like Kauai with him before. Every time we go hiking together, just me and him, he fucks up his leg or like some something in his knee. So I'm hoping that this is the the time Knock that that wood, curse bro. yeah that the curse breaks. There we go. Anyways, all right, sign us out, boys. Wrap us right, out. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in to this episode of the Lone Lobos Podcast. Uh, we have an Instagram. We have a Twitter. We have a TikTok. We have a MySpace. And you can find us on LinkedIn at uh, Shola Mari Duena. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, make sure to hit us up. We take fan mail at um, Los Angeles. I don't know the zip wow. code. <laughs> you can figure that out. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Get out of here. Right? Call the phone number. It's going to appear right here. 
This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos. <laughs>